Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel, it's your boy TJ Burns and in today's video we're going to be talking through the jock villager type personalities in Animal Crossing New Horizons by doing yet another tier list. So if you're new here why not check out the rest of my channel and also the other tier lists that I've done but let's get straight into this going through it in an alphabetical order. So as always we rank them from S, A, B, C and D, D tiers where B is if someone came to my island and my personal opinion, I wouldn't be happy, I wouldn't be sad, I'd be content with them. If it was D, I want to kick them off. If it was S, I'd be so happy to see them come to my island. So the first person we're starting off with is an anteater by the name of Antonio. I do not like anteaters at all. Antonio is a jock one. Catchphrase is honk, <laughs> which sounds weird, I don't know. Well, I'm going to put him in C tier. I don't think he deserves to be in D tier. I think he's kind of okay, quite plain, nothing too much to hate, but C tier it is. Next up we have our first elephant of the day called Axel. Axel I think is okay, you know. His mouth, I don't think he's quite as cute as like Ellie and Tia. I'll put him in B. I think that's where he belongs. Next up we have Bam. You know what? I like Bam. I like Bam a lot. Catchphrase is Boosh, <laughs> which is quite funny, and I think he deserves to be in A tier. Moving on, we have Biff. Now Biff is a hippo with the two buck teeth. Quite plain. I think all the hippos are quite plain, to be fair. I'm going to put Biff in B tier. I think that's a good spot. Bill the duck we have up next. You know what? I do like the ducks, I must say. Not as cute as Molly, but I'm still impressed by Bill the duck. Going to put him in A tier. I think that's reasonable. Billy the goat is a Billy goat. Um, I think I would be content. I don't know. Would I be happy if he came to our island? His greeting is Dang Nabbit, which is kind of cool. I'm going to put him at the very front of B tier. I don't think I'd be super happy if he came. But moving on, we have Boone, who's a monkey, kind of looking like a baboon, which is quite cool, quite unique. I think because of his uniqueness, I'm just going to put him at the front of B tier as well. Um, I'm not, not really a big fan of kind of the apes, so I would put, kind of put him lower down. But for him, I think that's okay. Next up we have Boots the Crocodile. Now Boots came to my island, he was looking like a clown, I think I gave it to him by accident. I was kind of disappointed by him if I'm honest, so C tier is for you my friend. Next up we got a horse named Buck. If you guys have seen any of my other videos you know that I think the horses are quite underrated. However Buck I think is kind of one of the worst ones if I'm honest. B tier in the middle for you Buck my friend. Next up we've got another lion called Bud. Now Bud is looking quite cool in all honesty. One of the better lines, I must say. I'm loving the sunglasses, to be honest. So, Bud is going towards the front of B. Actually, hmm. You know what? I'm going to put Bud at the end of A. I think he, he's made a good uh, life decision there with those glasses. <laughs> okay, next up we have Coach. Coach is kind of like some Viking-looking, I guess, cow, um, bull. Uh, I think he's quite unique. I wouldn't be sad if I got him but I wouldn't be happy I think he's kind of neutral I'm gonna put him in the middle of B tier right there next up we have Cobb Cobb is a piggy with some patch and some weird glasses kind of looks like I don't even know like a mad professor or like a pilot or something his catchphrase is hot dog um <laughs> not too sure how I feel about that I think I'd be kind of disappointed hog or what's his name Cobb rather is going into the C tier now we have a weird named frog called I don't even know how to pronounce this but it's called Cousteau, I think. He's French. His catchphrase is wee oui, wee. Oui. You know what? Yeah, I'm not a hater of Cousteau. I think he's quite good. I'm going to put him at the front of B tier. Some happy guy. Look at that moustache. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I like that a lot. I don't think he's quite A tier. But I'll keep him there. Next up, we have a pig called Curly. I think Curly's quite a plain Jane sort of pig. I think Garla's quite cute. Uh, Curly, yeah, I'm going to put him in the middle of B tier. I think that's where he belongs. Next up, we have Dom. You know what? Yeah. I always say how I don't really like sheep, but Dom is a cutie, one of the best sheep. I'm putting him in S tier. Call me crazy. Let me know in the comments what you guys think as well, but Dom is going straight in the S tier for me. Quite interesting. Now, we've got a bit of a, a drift here, a Joy-Con drift called Drift. <laughs> no, it's this little, um, what's it called? Frog here. His greeting is bruh. Not mad at drift. I'm going to put him up there with Custo. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I think that's not too bad. We've also got another monkey here called Flip. Flip is one of the cuter ones, I must say. Um, for the uniqueness... Oh, what that buck teeth? No, I'm going to keep Flip at the front of B. Almost A, but front of B for me. We've got another frog called Frobert. 
I mean, unique, yeah. I'm I'm not gonna say I'd be disappointed. I think I'd be content with Frobert in all honesty. Similarly, a first bunny, Genji, is quite a unique bunny. Greeting is Otaku. It's literally just like a, a Japanese bunny. <laughs> I'd be content. I wouldn't hate, I wouldn't hate. However, next up we have Goose. You know I'm not a fan of the chickens. Uh, quite plain, quite boring. I'm going to put him in C tier. I think that's where he belongs. Next up, we've got Hamlet. You know what, yeah, Hamlet is a cutie. I'm going to put him at the front of A tier. Look at that little quiff, thinking he's Superman or something. It's quite cool. We also have a penguin called Igly. Igly's going to go towards the end of A tier, in my personal opinion. Uh, yeah, I think she sits there quite well. We also have a bird called Jay. I think Jay's quite cool. Um, but where do I want to put him? Greeting is hey. I think he's quite plain, if I'm honest. I, I was kind of going to put him towards the end of A, but I think I'm going to put him towards the front of B. I still do think he's quite plain. But we've got a weird-looking bird called Jitters. Now, this bird kind of freaks me out with the eyes. It looks like he hasn't had sleep in days. Um, greeting is Bessert. I'm not too sure about Jitters. He looks like he's drank too much coffee. I'm going to put him in D tier, just because he kind of freaks me out a bit. Gives me the heebie-jeebies, you know what I mean? <laughs> Next up, though, we have Kevin, another pig. Um, you know, I think Kevin is better than Curly. I'm going to bump him a little bit up, but still in B tier. Next up, we've got Kid Cat. Now, I always like these sort of outfits. I like cats. It kind of reminds me just like a, a boy version of Lolly because the color of the ears, but then also a superhero cat. Kid Cat, you know what? I really do like Kid Cat, but do I want to put him in S or do I want to put him in A? I'm going to do a madness and put Kid Cat in S tier. Oof. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Okay, next up we've got a bear called Cody. I do like Cody Bear. I'm going to put him in A tier above these two. I, I do like the small bears, I must say. I don't think Animal Crossing quite got that aesthetic look of the tigers right, in my opinion. Um, I think they look okay. Leonardo over here. Greeting is flexing. I think they are still pretty cool, but I just wanted them to be cooler. So in the middle of B, you go, my friend. Next up, we've got a tribute to Donkey Kong, which is Louis. I'm not really a fan, but I can see that he's a tribute to Donkey Kong. But I'm going to put him, yeah, in the middle of B tier as well. But I can see why people would like him. Now, Lyman <laughs> was on my island. Lyman and Hazel were my first two villagers. And purely because of that, I did like Lyman. I'm going to put him at the end of A tier. I think he was quite nice, if I'm honest. No hate towards him. I enjoyed him there, but obviously there's much better people out there. Okay, next up we have Mac, who's looking like a very, very grumpy, weird-looking dog, you know. Woo woof. I'm going to put him towards the top of C tier. I think I'd be quite disappointed if he was the dog I got <laughs> in real life and in the game. Big oof right there. We've got another mouse called Moose. Yeah, looking very weird. I don't know what's going on with his hair. I don't know what's going on with that raised eyebrow. Kind of freaks me out a bit again. So I'm putting him in D tier. Cause just because he freaks me out. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've got Mott the Lion as well. You know what? Mott's kind of cool. Kind of relaxed. I like the glasses as well. He just looks like he would serve me coffee in a coffee shop. Or like a hipster sort of thing. I think he belongs in the middle of B tier. I think that's reasonable. We've got a bird called Peck. Now Peck's got some weird eyes as well. Looks like... I don't even know, their like, eyes are shining in the light or something, kind of freaky. But I like them better than, those two are scary, this one's kind of freaky. And I think I'm going to put them towards the end of B tier, I think I'd be content. We've got our first eagle looking person called Pierce. Greeting is Hawkeye, which is pretty cool. Outfit's alright as well, you know what, I'm, I'm quite a fan of Pierce, I don't mind him. But I'm still going to put him in B tier, I don't think I'm that excited about him. But next up we have a, uh, another bear called Poncho. Going into B tier, I mean A tier, up here. I do like Poncho a lot. Okay, me personally, robots. I do not like these robot ones. I think they're weird and freaky as well. Um, I think they're very unique, so I'm not going to put it in D because of the uniqueness, but I am going to put it in C. I hope you guys can forgive me. Uh, we, next up, we've got Rold. Rold's quite cute as well. I like the penguins. Going to put him up here in A tier. Moving on, we've got another mouse called Rod. Ah... Uh, I mean, when Rod came to my island, I was content. But, yeah, as time went on, I kind of just wanted to get rid of him. So I'm going to put him there. Rory. Rory? Rory. <laughs> I said that weird. Is a lion with some sharp teeth. Again, look, at what is up with these vampire teeth? Kind of disappointing. I'm going to put him in the, the front of C tier. I think he's kind of okay, but I don't know. There's these sharp teeth. 
What's up with it? Okay, Rowan the Tiger now. Rowan the Tiger, I think, is looking... Oh, wait. I've already done Rowan the Tiger. I did the wrong Tiger. <laughs> but it's fine. I think. What Tiger did I do? Leonardo. Oh, I did the wrong one. Whoopsie doodle. Leonardo should be up here in B. And we're going to do... Yes. This Tiger. Rowan the Tiger. And we're, yeah, so we're going to put Leonardo up in B and we're going to move Rowan hmm, the Tiger. I think he's at the front of B. I think he's a cooler version of the Tiger. A more traditional Tiger, you know what I mean? Next up, we got Rudy the Cat. You know what? I do like Rudy the Cat. I do like the cats. I'm going to put Rudy the Cat. I didn't know it was a jock. Mad. Towards the end of A tier. We've got Samson the mouse now. Again, not a big fan of mice. Going to put him in C tier. Um, he's a bit plain and boring. At least Rod kind of offered like some pirate look. Samson just looks like a very plain mouse. Not really much more I can say. Moving on, we've got a duck called Scoot. I do like the ducks. I think they're quite cute. Uh, I'm going to put Scoot in the middle of A tier. I am quite a fan. <laughs> Sheldon we have here as well. Sheldon is a little squirrel. Green is cardio. I find that quite funny. Um... You know, I'm going to put Sheldon towards the end of A tier. That's what I'm going to put Sheldon. Now we have Sly. Another crocodile. I think he's better than Boots. I don't think I'd be happy though. I'm going to put him towards the middle of B tier. I think that's quite reasonable. But now we have our Ninja Bunny Snake. Definitely got to go in A. I'm going to put him around here. I think he looks quite cool, quite unique again. We've got another scary looking bird called Sparrow. Not quite as scary as these guys. Not really a fan. It's kind of weird. C tier, you go. Sprocket is a straight up D for me. I do not like Sprocket at all. I find them, um, like, I can see it's unique again with a robot, but I find that scary, ugly. I don't like it at all. But moving on, we have Sterling, a knight in shining armor. Don't think I'd be super happy. Don't think I'd be disappointed. So, in the, around here in B tier is where Sterling will go. <laughs> Next up, we have a stinky cat called Stinky. You know what? I think that's hilarious. That you got pants on their head. How can I not put them at at least A tier? I think that is really, really funny. <laughs> Goodness me. Next up, we got Ted the Frog. You know, Ted the Frog. I, I quite like him, even though he's simple. I don't know. I like his smile. His smile makes him a little bit different. Even his eyes. Ted the Frog is going to go at the very end of A tier. I think I'd be more happy on the happier side if I got him. Similarly with Tank, you know, Tank the Rhino just about makes it into the A tier. Another uh, Rhino with two horns. I think him and only one other have two horns. I think he's quite plain as well, but again, I'm not mad at him. All right, we got Teddy. I'm not really a big fan of these big bears, if I'm honest. I think I'd be quite disappointed if I got Teddy. So going into C tier. And last but not least, we have a tiger called Tybalt. Similarly, uh, I think Rowan's the best Tygo. Leonardo and Tybalt can sit together. But this essentially is my tier list. So not many people in S tier. Only Dom and Kid Cat, And I think they are quite good. Hamlet, Bam are quite close as well. But I think that's quite reasonable. Lyman's up there because he was one of my first villagers. Quite a lot of people I'm okay with. But still, three people I don't like at all. Which is quite interesting. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments, as always. I do find it very entertaining to see how many people rage against me. But yeah, that is the, basically the tier list for Jock Villagers. Uh, if you've liked that, please do slap a like on it. And why not check out the rest of the tier list I've done. But hopefully I'll catch you in a stream or two, and I'll see you in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon.